All right. We're here. We're live. This shall be the first installment of Engineer Freestyle. Um, I think I'm going to stick with that name when it comes to this. And this is my podcast. So not only will you see me on videos teaching you stuff or showing you stuff that I do, I decided I should um, talk about stuff. Majority of it is going to be um, industry based. Um, the reason why I'm calling it engineer freestyles because you know you can kind of guess that it's kind of a play on the engineer freestyling, you know, because everybody's going to say what the you know what the f. I guess I don't I don't want to cuss, but <laughs> it's going to be one of those kind of things, and um. I'm probably skipping topics here, but the first thing I felt I should talk about is definitely internships or being an assistant because everybody's always telling me, oh, well, you got your start with Dave Pensado. So, you know, that's why you're you're at where you're at. And um, I think that's a very ignorant way of thinking about anybody's situation. This episode would be called why an internship can only be a good thing. And the reason why I say that is because what a lot of people don't know is it took me a second to even get to my first assistantship or internship, as you could say. Um, Of course, I went to school, but we can get to that in another episode. I went to school. But between the time of me graduating school and me meeting who you guys know as Dave Pensado, you know, the legendary mix engineer, between those, between, I guess, that gap, I I went to a bunch of studio interviews. I'm not going to name the names because I don't, I don't know if that's even going to cause an issue or not, but I just feel, feel more comfortable not naming them. So I went to a bunch of studio interviews I got the looks. Um, I even went to, you know what? I'm going to name the name because it's not really a bad situation. So I went to interviews at Winmark, got a look, didn't didn't work out. Um, I had three interviews at Larrabee, didn't work out. Um, I can't even remember the other studios that I had interviews at, but as you can tell they didn't work out um there was another place called i believe black rose i can't even remember right now um it's been so long yeah my long career i've had um you know with that situation i learned that it wasn't for me so it wasn't a bad thing i learned a valuable lesson i knew that if i was getting into any other situation like this that you know i would jump ship a lot faster and not really waste my time You know, I was kind of just get out of the situation as soon as possible. So um, with that situation, I probably was there for like two months. And then I ended up at Glenwood and I got fired the same day. So (laughs) um, stuff happens. Um, Yeah, I got fired the same day. I brought the wrong order, but there's a backstory to that. And uh, we can get into a whole nother day. Um, So... I I realized that wasn't a place for me. Um, I was doing a bunch of freelance gigs. And um, was there any other internship? I don't think so. But yeah, it was it was definitely a lot of trial and error. It wasn't like I just I just right away, you know, met Dave and my life changed. Like, that's not how this thing works. Like, you know, I was grinding hard in school I was grinding hard in every opportunity that I got you know and lucky enough I was just impressing the right people at the right time and it lined up to where you know I randomly hit up Nicki Minaj's engineer by the name of Juice you know shout out Big Juice and um I was just like what do I do I just graduated I don't I don't have any guidance I don't know what I what I'm supposed to do like because I'm used I was used to making money at school like I was getting mixes and tracking sessions and he was just like internship 
doing do as much internships as you can. And in my head, I'm like, man, I already I already had the failing internship. I got fired from one. Like, you know, I'm kind of done. But um, him telling me that made me reach out to my counselor. Shout out to James Barr. And um, me and him sat down and James was like, I don't got nothing for you. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, you know, you're my counselor. And he's just like, well, you say you don't want internships. And I was like, no, 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 I'll take internships. You know, remembering what, you know, Juice told me. And I was like, no, I'll take an internship. I don't care. Like, I'm out of school. I have nothing. You know, I don't have no money. I have nothing. And he was like, well, this guy named Leandro keeps, you know, well, not Keith, but he said, this guy named Leandro hit me up about assistantship with assisting Dave. And I was just like, Dave and Sato? He's like, yeah. I was like, in my head, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Like, that's that can't be real. So... You know, me, 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 I'm like, whatever, I'm going to go. Because now I'm in that mode where I'm just like, this isn't going to be real. Like, I'm about to, like, be a slave to this dude. And either way, maybe this cat could teach me something. And um, shout out to Leandro, by the way. You know, that's big homie right there. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I, I followed that. Ended up going to Dave's show, meeting Dave. And, you know, I got to work with him, do a little bit do a little bit in the studio and you know that helped me get to the next step which was Atlantic Records and working at APG so in my opinion internships can only be a good thing because guess what it's going to be good or bad that bad is going to teach you what you don't want to deal with and that good is going to show you what you want to continue to you know strive for so in my opinion internship is only a good thing because you're trying to get into an industry where you really don't know much about forget about what you learn in school and all that stuff like there's always going to be more to learn so just take what you learn at school and make sure it gets you to the next level like each step is just to get to the next level and um yeah man that's how i see it and it's 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 truly up to you man it's truly up to you to make sure that it works out so don't get stuck in a situation where you know you don't follow your gut. If it don't feel like you should be there, get out of there. And, you know, it's an internship. Like, what are they going to try to blackball you because you left the internship? That would be kind of crazy, but you never know. But, um, yeah, man, just stay positive and keep your ears open, keep your eyes open. There's always opportunity around the corner, you know, we can also turn things into opportunities. So, yeah, man, An internship is not a bad thing. So, get out there and you know, look them up, try them out, and I wish you the best. Thank you for listening.